to Seymour Rocks reporting from Down Under. Uh, it's a relatively uh, slow uh, news day uh, compared with, say, yesterday. So I just want to uh, concentrate a little bit on, on the main stories. I just bring them, I'm just going to present them as slides. Because the main thing is I want to concentrate on the media in my part of the world. When I set up my blog eight years ago, it was largely motivated and still is motivated by the fact that I saw all of these huge issues facing us right across the board and it was being ignored by the media here and elsewhere uh, we're not told the truth. So I'm just going to go through some of the stories, uh, sort of quick fire. Uh, this, of course, uh, is how they're spinning the uh, what's happening in the US economy, uh, which really uh, uh, contrasts what, what I'm hearing elsewhere. But of course, it's a great narrative. Uh, so there's that. And then, of course, we've got the... Uh, the floods in the Midwest and the uh, you know the crop failures. They've only got a third of the uh, um, the corn crop in. So this was just uh, today. This spring's flooding crisis is part of a bigger pattern for the U.S. This came, I think, yesterday. Uh, or a couple of days ago, every single county in Oklahoma is in a state of emergency. And this, all the rest of the headlines are just from today. Uh, Pompeo, Iran attacked oil tankers in Gulf to raise crude oil prices. On Thursday, U.S. Secretary of State Mom, Mike Pompeo claimed that the apparent attacks on four oil tankers located off the coast of the United Arab Emirates, Fujairah, this month were efforts by the Iranians to raise the price of crude oil around the world. Uh, and this, uh, Bolton finally backs off Iran escalation. It's, quote, not over, but U.S., quote, deterred threat. So it looks as though um, someone has had a... A good stern word with him. Uh, and then of course there's the, the whole Muller thing. Uh, Barr strikes back, says Muller could have reached a decision if he wanted to. Almost immediately after Robert Muller stepped away from the podium on Wednesday after giving his first and final remarks on the Russia probe, uh, speculation turned to Attorney General William Barr, as Democrats and the media speculated that the special counsel had just delivered a painful snub to his long-time friend and erstwhile boss. And then, uh, as this, China could use rare earth metals embargo to land killer blow on the U.S. defense industry. And then finally, uh, this very, very important story. This is reported, uh, oh my gosh, I don't know. I mean, probably 18 hours after I made my video uh, yesterday. Uh, finally, uh, they're saying in the British media, uh, Julian Assange unable to talk properly after dramatic weight loss in prison. WikiLeaks says it has grave concerns for the health of its founder, who has reportedly been moved to the health ward of Belmarsh Prison. So this is the uh, this is the notorious uh, uh, Daily Mirror. Uh, it seems to me that the um, that the uh, the so-called tabloid press is is often uh, telling more truth about things than the, than the mainstream papers. So I'll turn to the Guardian here, uh, Julian Assange. Too ill to appear in court via video link, lawyers say. Hearing is the latest stage in the possible extradition of WikiLeaks founder to US. Well, he's in hospital and he's possibly dying. 
uh, quite possibly poisoned and they're still talking uh, about an extradition case. Anyway, how is this being um, uh, uh, reflected, any of this, but especially these last two stories uh, down under? I actually went hunting as soon as I saw that there was a whole rash of stories coming out from the Northern Hemisphere about Julian Assange, uh, I decided to have a look for myself. And it was a pretty thankless task, I have to say. So this is uh, Stuff. They actually have a world news um, uh, section. And these are the important things, according to stuff.co.nz. Stoke catches as good as it gets. Norway striker bags nine goals. Warner faces fitness race for opener and Rugby World Cup. Now, I don't think I opened that onto the sports page. I opened it up onto the world page and you can see that it's highlighted. So, uh, what's that about? So, Ah, oh, and apparently, even though I went searching and couldn't find anything, at 2.26 this morning, there was an article. Uh, so it wasn't under world news, so I don't know where it was and how we were supposed to find it, but um, uh, it does say that Julian Assange is too sick for extradition hearing. Um, and I'm not sure that might be the only mention, because I went searching further. Here goes the New Zealand Herald. The New Zealand Herald doesn't even have uh, somewhere that you can go uh, looking for uh, world news. So you've just got to go through uh, their headlines, you know, one thing after another. So uh, I just went back this far and uh, I did have a quick look um, uh, below and I couldn't really find anything. I'm not really into uh, finding needles and haystacks. Um, so let's go on. Um, and across the Tasman, you'd think, oh, Julian Assange, isn't he Australian? You think they might take an interest in him? I think they published a, uh, a pretty false article yesterday about him, which just didn't refer to his uh, health condition, but referred to the fact of the Swedes refusing to postpone their, their hearing. So not much there. I mean, I suppose if I really went hunting, I mean, I use Google. Google's supposed to be the way to, to find all these things, isn't it? Um, and then I go onto their, onto their websites. Surely if there's something there, um, it would be there, uh, you know, amongst what the equivalent of headlines in a newspaper. So, this, in the past, is what I would have thought of our New Zealand media, because we were once upon a time, when I was younger, the land of 60 million sheep, and we were a very insular nation, and in fact, we never got made our way into the headlines from one year to the next, the world headlines. And now, of course, uh, that's all changed, because we're so corrupt and we're so much part of the Five Eyes network and so much part of everything and because we've had a, a terror attack in Christchurch etc etc and because we had John Key we've now become of interest uh, to the world. Uh, so that I don't think is uh, that uh, kind of appropriate an image. So perhaps I should try this. Here goes some of our uh, more intelligent citizens. But actually, I really thought of this. Yeah, the Hobbits! Lord of the Rings! That's what we aspire to. Um, and we're a nation, we're part of the world, aren't we? We're part of globalization, the, the global village. And yet, we're just as insular as we always were, aren't we? Uh, we don't, we ignore uh, everything that's important. Uh, we just uh, have trivia, which is passed off as world news. 
Um, I mean, the whole of the the media is like, um, yeah, like a like a little village newspaper somewhere in the depths of England, miles from, you know, miles from hundreds of miles from London. Um, so, uh, yeah, somehow it didn't come up. So I'm going to just finish with Radio New Zealand because Radio New Zealand is our uh, national um, broadcaster. It's our, it's our, this is where you go to get the serious news. Um, yeah, so they've got, yeah, they've got some political news. Trump says impeachment is dirty, filthy, disgusting word. So we're very good, even if we're not, uh, so good at covering sort of important things like climate change and the the, the drift to war. Uh, we're pretty good at repeating the lies that others tell. So we do that while we ignore what's important. So let's just go to what uh, Radio New Zealand is telling us is important. They, here we are. Here goes the headline. Today isn't world news. What you need to know. So they're telling us what we need to know. The international stories making headlines around the world. Just see how this reflects the headlines that I mentioned at the beginning. Uh, fatal tourist boat collapse on the Danube. Very tragic, but uh, how important. Uh, Muller breaks silence. So they're just echoing the uh, American deep state, as they always do. Um, oh, Israelis go back to the polls. Well, yes, yes, that's that's very good. Uh, new PM for Papua New Guinea after a month of political eruptions. Well, I don't really, I can't be everywhere, so I don't get myself into Papua New Guinea politics that much. Um, Another U.S. state passes heartbeat law, and ah, uh, oh, this is important. Tiniest surviving baby heads home. Now this is world-shattering news, and uh, yeah, well there we are. So that's all the world. That's what did the New York Times say about themselves? Uh, all all the news that's fit to print. So that's uh, Radio New Zealand. So. That, in short, is why I do what I do every day uh, for many hours a day, uh, trying to bring uh, you the news that really matters. And uh, to those who don't really subscribe to the ideology of hobbits, sheep or cattle. That's me from... Uh, down under.